Today on What's In My Driveway, we got a little bit different flavor for you. All right guys, so we told you in the intro, we got a little bit different flavor today. Today we've got a 1967 Ford F100 short bed. That's my buddy Chris's, who just so happens to be my neighbor. I've literally seen this truck for as long as I've lived in this house. Chris has owned it for a long time, and he's here today to tell us a little bit about his 1967 Ford F100. Thanks for bringing it by, Chris. Appreciate it, man. Hey, man. So tell us what we're looking at here today. 1967 Ford F100. It was my dad's truck. He bought it used in the late 70s, so it's been around the family as, as long as I can remember. Um, that lives at my house. Heck yeah. All right, so he bought it a long time ago. You've had it and been driving it since you were, I guess, a, I guess a kid, that's a teenager. That's what I learned how to drive on, I remember. When uh, we were a kid, the most fun part of going to the lake with dad was knowing I got to drive the last two miles in the green truck. So That is awesome. Um, so not only have you learned, did you learn how to drive on this truck, you also learned how to wreck this truck. Yeah, I wrecked <laughs> it, uh, I think I was probably 16 or 17, wrecked it, um, tore up the front end bad and uh, had to get new hood, front fenders, grill, and bumper. Um, the hood and fenders came off a 70s model and uh, we were able to find a 67 truck to pull the, pull the grill out of, but other than that, it's all original. 67s were a little bit different on the F100s too, so when you were replacing the hood and fender and grill, I think you said you got the same emblems on the side of the hood. So those are 67 emblems. But what up here is, is actually a little different than the a 67. The only thing different are the actual Ford letters. The 67 letters were just a little bit smaller. Um, I held on to the letters from the 67, but because of where the holes are drilled in the hood, they don't fit. So I guess okay. those are the only emblems on it that are not the 67. All right, so most people are gonna wanna know what's up under the hood of this thing. It's got a 352 V8, you got the original motor and transmission, both of them are the original motor and transmission. Leaks a little bit of oil, leaks a little bit of transmission <laughs> fluid, but it'll crank every time I get into it, so it's Heck hard to yeah. talk myself into doing anything. I don't blame you, man. So you still got original paint on the firewall. So 352 FE motor, right? Correct. So in a, in the Ford world, they're not necessarily small blocks or big blocks, right? That's right, the V8, you got the 302, the 352, and the 390. And uh, they're all the same size. As far as the actual physical the actual appearance. physical yeah. size of the motor. And they're just bored to different sizes. That's cool. So as far as you know, this thing has only been painted once. Is that right? That's right. Obviously, it got the front end got painted after I wrecked it. But other than that, the mid-90s, my dad had, uh, had it totally repainted. Um, we did, we redid the upholstery for him, I think, for Father's Day in 95, 96. Um, and this thing is really trick on the inside. I mean, this is, it's got a headliner or had a headliner and it's got the, the cardboard for the headliner still there. I mean, there's a, this is some plush looking interior on this thing. Well, that said, I think we ought to go for a ride in it. Let's go ride in this bad boy. This thing is incredibly cool in here, though. This is original paint on the inside. Didn't paint the inside. That's cool. That's one thing about this truck. So the drive, we know the drivetrain's original. That's right. And you've you've done a couple of things to it. So what what have you done that's that wouldn't be original? So I know when. Uh, when I got it, I left it parked in my garage for about six years without doing anything to it. And hell, you were there when yep. I drug it back out, had to change out the carburetor, change out the fuel pump. Yep. But other than that, I mean, as far as running wise, very little is done to it. So it's got dual exhaust, right? Dual exhaust, and 
That has had dual exhaust as long as I can remember. That's awesome. And then you put fresh new set of thin white walls on it a lot longer ago. That's right. <laughs> Replace those. They were pretty much dry routed. Man. So does it have power steering and power brakes? Because I actually didn't even look at that. Under no that. power steering, no power brakes. All of it's muscle. Oh, just all muscle. All of it. <laughs> The thing I love about this truck the most is obviously the color scheme. I mean, it is just really, really cool. Oh, I know one other thing you've done. What's that? You put three-point harnesses in this thing. I did put three-point harnesses in it. Family likes to ride around in it in the weekends, and felt like that was probably a pretty good addition to us <laughs> having my two little girls ride around in it. Yeah, it makes all the difference, especially when you when you think about that steering wheel and that steering column being, you know, sort of projectile and, That's right. you know, <laughs> sort of bring it up to speed a little bit. But still got the four drums. Yeah. So get a football field to get it to stop. <laughs> Well, that's one cool thing about this truck, though. I mean, you're showing people that these trucks can still be driven, you know, in today's at today's time. I mean, yeah, you're still four-wheel drum, no power steering, no power brakes, but, you know, you've driven this thing on the interstate, too, right? That's right. I mean, it, get, it cranks and runs every time I get in it, so, like I said, it's hard to get motivated to change a whole lot when it just works. All right, guys, so Chris and I were wrapping up here on the truck and I forgot to ask him about this beauty right here. How shameful is that? What happened right there, Chris? Uh, it was when Dad still had the truck. He had it parked at Home Depot and somebody came by and keyed it pretty good. Hey. Like never have, never had fixed it. Well, we like to talk about character on these on these trucks. And it's a beauty mark. That's a beauty mark. It's almost like a beauty scar. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, man. Can't believe people would do something like that. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed Chris's 67 F100 short bed. Man, what a cool truck, especially for the first Ford we've had on Whitlock Garage. Really big appreciation to him for letting us film his truck. And man, we're just super stoked about the path forward on Whitlock Garage. Because after all, we're united by trucks. So it's not just GM trucks on this channel. We're going to be bringing you more Fords, bringing you some Dodges, bringing you all sorts of stuff, all shapes and sizes. Check out unitedbytrucks.com if you hadn't already. We got some cool decals, shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, kids shirts, all kind of shirts. So check out unitedbytrucks.com for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. If you like what you saw on the channel today, smash that thumbs up button below and leave a comment. Let us know what you think about Chris's 1967 Ford F100 and tell us what other kind of trucks you might like to see on this channel. Leave it down in the comments. We'll catch you next time on Whitlock Garage. Cue the music.